Ever wondered about the high paying jobs you can get without getting a college degree? Well, today we're going to be showcasing seven of those jobs that you can get and master without setting one foot in a college classroom. Let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Evan, a real estate agent and mortgage broker. In society, it has become more popular a notion that you need to go to college to be successful. I remember in high school, my senior year, everybody would proudly wear the sweatshirt of the college they planned to go to. And specifically on May 1st, which was decision day, everybody wore as much college attire as possible. However, we need to acknowledge as a society that college is not always necessary for every single job and you can still be successful without it. College is a privilege and not all jobs need it. Truck driving is a perfect example. If you don't mind driving for extended periods of time or being by yourself, this could be an option for you. Depending on your state, you may need to be a certain age to start and some trucking organizations require a high school diploma or equivalent. To start, you're going to need your commercial driver's license learning permit, which involves passing a written exam. Next, you'll need to get your full commercial driver's license, which you can get through a trucking school or through the company you intend to work for. After that, you need to pass a drug, background, and medical exam. It is recommended you have a decent amount of experience before applying for interstate trucking jobs. Consider applying for those entry-level ones and local delivery jobs to build your reputation and experience. According to talent.com, the average truck driver makes $62,483 a year. This can increase based off of experience and specialized training. Becoming an air traffic controller is another great option to consider. It can be stressful at times, but it comes with great benefits, great job security, and unique scheduling considering that airports are open 24-7. In most cases, you just need a high school diploma. A degree in aviation or air traffic management could help, but it's not necessary. Once considered for a job, you may need to take an ATSAT or Air Traffic Standardized Aptitude Test, which covers tasks related to air traffic control. After you're selected, you will undergo training by the FAA and need to pass a medical exam and background check. The job comes with a lot of responsibility, so expect a lot of on-job training. You will continue with your education until you receive a certificate saying you can work independently without supervision. On average, you can make $132,250 a year as an air traffic controller, with higher salaries coming with more experience and niche training. One job that people may not consider is being a power plant operator. Now, like the other jobs mentioned before, a high school diploma or equivalent is necessary. You will receive specialized on-site training to help familiarize yourself with the power plant you're working on and the day-to-day -day operations. You may also need to get a certificate or license depending on the specific power plant you're working on. You should also expect tons of training in regards to safety as this is a main priority for the job. Another thing to consider is that you have to be physically fit for this job considering you're going to be lifting heavy objects, climbing up and down ladders, and working in tight spaces. As a power plant worker, you can expect to make on average $80,000 a year. The wages increase with high level management positions and specialized training. One of the more common jobs people consider are getting skilled labor jobs, so like electricians and plumbers. You can go to vocation school if you want, or even start off as an apprentice. After gaining the necessary experience and reputation, it's common for skilled laborers to open their own practice and offer their services that way. Electricians can expect to make on average $61,000 a year, while plumbers can expect to make $64,000 a year. Becoming a real estate agent is also another great option. You're going to have to take your state-specific pre-licensing course and state-specific exam. Afterwards, you're going to need to find a broker to sponsor you, and you're going to have to apply for your state's salesperson's license. For more information on how to become a real estate agent, I already created a video on it, which I'll be linking in the description down below. The average real estate agent makes $85,000 a year, but this can vary drastically depending on what state you are in or if you stay in an urban, suburban, or rural area. A job that is seeing a rise in demand is being a web developer. Now it is pretty common for web developers to be self-taught having learned multiple languages while in their adolescence. Some high schools even teach coding, usually Java or Python, but the great thing about coding is that there are tons of free resources online such as Free Code Camp and CS50. You should also consider going to a coding boot camp. Now this can be hit or miss depending on the specific boot camp, so please do the necessary research beforehand. To build your portfolio, consider participating in hackathons, working with others on open source projects, or even building your own web applications. The average web developer makes $93,000 a year, but depending on the company you work for and the languages you know, you could make a ton more. And finally, being a construction manager. Now with this one, you will need to work your way up the ladder. Most managers need several years of construction-related experience, so it is common for people to start as a construction worker, 
gain the necessary experience, and then move into a managerial role. To start getting experience early, you could always seek out internships and apprenticeships when you were young. Volunteering with Habitat for Humanity is also a great way to gain experience. Anyway, as a manager, it is in your best interest to familiarize yourself with local building laws, regulations, and zoning codes. You should also introduce yourself to the local building department and get familiar with the people that you're most likely going to be talking to on a consistent basis. As a manager, you will also need to receive a lot of training. One example is the OSHA 30-hour training course, which is highly recommended. As a construction manager, you can expect to make on average $95,000 a year, with some earning considerably more due to their specific company or years of experience. And yeah, there you have it. Those are just some of the highly skilled jobs that you can get that don't require college but are still very lucrative. As long as you learn the skills, get the experience, and build your reputation, you should be good. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then click on this video. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.